Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am Karim, channel name Smell of Truth and thank you so much for passing by. Happy New Year guys! I am back with a new YouTube video and we're gonna start this year heated because I'm gonna open the discussion to a heated argument to something that is annoying the sh out of me in the fragrance industry or in the fragrance community in general. I want to reply to this comment today and tell you why in my opinion this comment is not in the right and actually stupid. Let me start off by saying that I do mostly two things on this channel, which is reviewing and selling. If I review something, I review what is inside a bottle. I review the scent. I tell you my honest opinion and my experiences I had with the scent. That means when I review, the bottle should not matter in my opinion. The priority why you buy a fragrance is that it smells good and that you make good experiences with right? And that you like it, right? Not the bottle. And this is, for example, the main case on Fragrance 1. Fragrance 1 doesn't sell you pretty bottles. Fragrance 1 sells you what is inside and the experiences you get. Fragrance 1 actually doesn't sell you fragrances. They sell you the compliments that you get with the fragrance. And this is exactly how selling things works. But on the other hand, when I sell something, like for example, I am an affiliate and kind of ambassador of Soradora. When I sell you this fragrance, I'm obviously reviewing what is inside, but I use the pretty bottle, the pretty packaging as a selling argument. To an argument to make you buy this, basically. So yes, guys, I try to actually sell you things. But on the other hand, I just want to mention this real quick. You can trust that I will not sell you any kind of shit. If I sell you something, I see value in it. I do not work with Roja, for example, because I do not see the value in Roja. I do not want my viewers to buy Roja because I personally do not see the worth in it. I could 100% do this. I could 100% also make money out of it by for example getting freebies and selling them because I do not see the worth in it. I do one video, I do one review with a Roja bottle and then I sell it right away. What kind of review will that be? Will that be an honest review? I don't think so. I don't think that this will be an honest review because if I will give it away, I obviously do not like the priority of a fragrance. And the priority is what is inside, not what is outside. When I review, I'm telling you what is inside. I'm telling you my experiences I had with what is inside, with the fragrance that I had. I'm telling you how it smells. I'm telling you how long it performs. I'm telling you if I might have gotten compliments or some sort of comments, reactions, experience, whatever, that is worth sharing with you. I do not tell you the experience I had with a bottle. Why should you even care? Do you care about the bottle or do you care about the scent? Do you care if I stick this up my and how it feels? Or do you care if I spray this on my neck and tell you how it feels? What's going on everyone? Joe here and I want to say really quick thank you to Kareem for allowing me to share my unavished thoughts on this topic and I just have one question for you all what does this and this as well as this all have in common they're all samples in some variety certain milliliters whatever but they are all samples. They are all samples of official products from the brands made, which means I'm still wearing the exact same fragrance that you are and enjoying the exact same fragrance that you are. The only issue I have, honestly, with samples for reviewing 
is that I'm not allowed to spray myself 69 times in a single wearing in order to really appreciate the fragrance. That being said, there's nothing wrong with reviewing samples in my opinion. If anything, I implore you all to do yourselves a favor. Get more samples in 2024. I know I will. At least 2 ml is what I usually get. Based on my experiences, I feel like I can judge if I need 2 ml of a fragrance or if I need 5 ml of a fragrance. If I use up the 2 ml, I might get another 2 ml or a 5 ml. If I'm like, I see value in it. I do not understand this fragrance completely. If I go outside in a store and get a sample of something that smells, I don't know the word, but not special, kind of more kind of designer-ish. If I go out there and smell a Versace fragrance, you can bet your ass off that a 2 ml of a sample is more than enough to get to know the fragrance and tell you what experiences I got most of the times. Because it is a designer, it is not really made to be special. But if I go out there and smell the new Xerjov, for example, then 2 ml might not be enough. Because Xerjov is different and makes things different and has most likely a more unique kind of scent. Therefore, I might need more than 2 ml most of the times. So it always is a bit different kind of. Because what I also do is I ask people for their opinion what they get when they smell it on me. I know sometimes it can be weird to tell people, yeah, smell on my neck, what do you think, smell on my skin. Some people feel disgusted by it, I do not care. Because I want to know what people think of this that are not in this niche. This is what you do not see in the review. I have the same experience as someone with a full bottle, just with a sample. And when I say the same experience, I'm saying the same experience when it comes to what is inside. Also, as a collector, I do not need another bottle that gains dust in my shelves. Do you think this will be a good review if I show you the bottle? Oh yeah, this is the fragrance, this is how you get. You can shut this up, your ass feels really great. And then sell the fragrance right away. Discovery sets and samples got a huge popularity nowadays because people want to try first. So if I recommend you, for example, Zaharov Signature Tobacco, do you go out there and blind buy it right away? 90% of you do not do this. 90% of you look at the link in my bio where I have an affiliate link from with SendSplit where you can buy a decant of this. Or go to the Zaharov website and see if they sell a discovery set. Because you want to protect your money, right? You do not want to waste your money. And guess what? Me neither. That's why I get samples. Do you think it will be an honest kind of review or do you think I will get biased because the bottle looks very pretty? Yeah, it has a pretty bottle. Okay, it has a pretty bottle. It looks very pretty. It looks very nice. It might feel very great if I shut this up by This one would feel even better if I shut this up by So the point I'm making is that when I review a fragrance, I try to be as unbiased as possible. That's why I think samples are 100% the way to go when you review something. Or you get a sample first, you write down your honest thoughts and everything, and then you buy a bottle. But most of the times when I review samples, I do not have the money to buy every time something that I do actually like. So I need to set certain priorities and get this bottle at a later kind of point. But, for example, this comment comes from my Absolute Aventus review. If I like the fragrance, if I see value in it and everything, I do not have the money right now to buy a bottle. But I might get it in the future. I absolutely don't because I do not see the worth. But this is just an example. Let's say I wait three months, I will get it right now because my review was from three months ago. I get it right now, I show you my review with the bottle in it. How many views would I get? Three to four hundred views max is my prediction. I feel like I will not get as many views as I have right now because my video is already three months 
older where I review the sample that I have from Absolute Aventus. And guess how many views I got? Almost 2000 views, 1800 I think it is right now. So four to five times more than expected. Actually five to six times. And this is also a point as a reviewer. As a reviewer, I need to review things quickly. Because once Absolute Aventus gains so much hype and so much reviewers do videos, I disappear in the ocean of the masses. Plenty of fish in the ocean that review Absolute Aventus. And I will just be one of many. But if I am fast enough, then I am one of the first ones. The chances of this video to blow up are higher than I will do it right now. Because the hype of Absolute Aventus is there when it is released or shortly before it is released. Considering all the points that I make, I think it is absolutely delusional to expect a fragrance reviewer to do a review on a fragrance by buying the full bottle. I think I made my points clear. If I do not see value in the full bottle, I do not get it. And what I also want to mention for the last part of this video is your favorite reviewers on TikTok, for example, go out there in a store, film the bottle and give you a review. For example, at an airport, this smells sweet, fresh, sexy, blah, 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 whatever. What kind of review is that? What kind of review is that? And if you want reviews with bottles, then I strongly motivate you to go watch other reviewers that are mostly on Roja's PR list. And cannot tell you one negative thing about the fragrance in a public review, because then they will, their name will be scratched out from the PR list of Roja. You're welcome.